Vacuum forming is formed plastic. You heat it up and you put it on a mold and you suck the air out from underneath it and it, the plastic sucks down onto the mold. You can make a lot of things out of it. We're gonna make some masks out of it. This is a piece we made this week that's Griebel's that was a test piece to make sure that the oven was the right temperature. This piece is a piece that I made for packaging for free samples of shampoo. <laughs> All right, so Tyler, who are you sculpting? I'm sculpting Vaney from Five Nights at Freddy's. You can see so Ty is Vainy. making the base underneath the clay out of aluminum foil. There's a bowl under mine and there's a cardboard box under Sam's. So I'm yeah. rolling out slabs and we put a slab on Sam's box and now she's tracing out her, she drew the template yeah. and then we've got a slab over Ty's foil and she's gonna shape out hers. What are you making, Sam? I'm making a little robot girl that I made. Yep, you designed a robot girl. We had a patron on Patreon request a robot mask and a patron on Patreon request a treasure troll mask. I'm using the classic treasure troll as the inspiration for the sculpt. So it's going to have all the wrinkles from the classic treasure troll. It's not quite as cutesy as the modern treasure trolls, but eventually I painted Ooh. a modern treasure troll face on it and it worked out all right. So this is close-up of the treasure troll sculpt, just lumps of clay and um, snakes of clay added on in blobs. We used air dry clay for this. We had to keep it nice and wet the whole time you we were working. So we had little bowls of water next to us that we could dip our fingers and keep the clay wet. And every so often we'd just kind of get the whole thing a little bit wet until we were finished because you, you don't want any little parts of it to start to dry out and get crunchy while you're working. For my eyes, I made these these big ball shapes out of the clay and then and smooshed them onto my reference. Yeah, you shape. had a scale reference that was exactly the size you were working on next to you so that you could match it. We all had a scale reference. And then I <laughs> cut out the eyelids so are kind of sticky outy. Yeah, layered it up. And the nose, what do you call the nose? The boob snoot. <laughs> yeah, boob snoot. <laughs> you got a little boob snoot. And I got to boop it. Mm. What are you doing, Samo? Right now, I think I'm doing facial features. Mm -hmm. What did you do to do your facial features for your robot? Poked in the holes. On the paper template? I traced along the holes. And then what? And then I put on blobs of clay mm -hmm. and made it so I like it. Yeah. You yeah. can also, if you don't want to sculpt, you can use snakes of clay and just write letters. I made kind of a, a cheesy little floral thing here. A little snake of clay with leaves and, and flowers, just blobs real quickie. Or you can do the greebles. So this one is just a bunch of toys hot glued to the box. You have to make sure there's no undercuts. So the underneath this baby hammer, there's gaps which will get trapped in the plastic when it gets sucked around it. I filled it in with just more air dry clay. And this is the finished pieces. We let them dry for a couple of days before we vacuum formed them. We made sure that they were covered in plastic some of the time, so they dried slow. This is the vacuum form box. So it's a big box with holes in the top, a lot of little holes in the top, and a big hole in the side for the vacuum hose. And that way it sucks through the little holes in the top. And then you make a frame that fits over the box that needs to be relatively snug because you don't want any air leakage. You need a seal. And then you have, the frame has two parts so you can sandwich the plastic in there. And I screwed it together, but you can clamp it together depending on how your box is set up. This is my toaster oven version. So it's smaller, but it's the same thing. A box with holes drilled in the top and a hole drilled in the side for the vacuum hose. And then a frame that's two parts, two layers to sandwich the plastic that fits on top. It's got those gray stripes on there that line up with each other so that when I screw it together, I'm always hitting the same holes. And then this is what it looks like with plastic in it. That's the troll vacuum form. I covered the legs with aluminum foil so that they wouldn't char in the oven. They get a little hot. Our oven heats from the bottom, so it just protects it. This is the box with the vacuum hose. You tape the vacuum hose into the hole just to seal it up and I just use masking tape. 
and here's the plastic in the oven. You put it in, we did 350 degrees, but it's always different. You melt it in the oven until it's sagging in the middle. That's why you have the legs so that it doesn't sag too low and stick to the inside of the oven. You have to make sure it's hot all the way to the edges. Does. So it takes longest on the edges. You keep an eye on the edges. And then once the plastic is hot, you slam it over the frame and then you suck the air out and you get a vacuum formed piece of plastic, which you can then paint. He's mine. That's your, yours. There's Vanny, Ty's Vanny. This one turned out the best. This was a really good vacuum form. It just sucked right on there. And then the troll, we had a little situation with the troll. Because um. <laughs> the hose came, it detached itself, and I didn't notice. So I stick it on there, Ty turned on the vacuum, and nothing was happening. And I was like, what's going on? And then I noticed that the hose was detached, so I, boop. And then it sucked on there. But yep, there's the last one, the troll face. Okay. This is Ty making the ears out of craft foam and wire for Vanny. So she had a template out of paper that, to make sure that it was the right shape and size, and then traced that onto the craft foam, and then glued the wire on the inside. I told Sean that it was one red ear, one blue ear, and he said that it was Joy-Con bunny. Oh, okay. Red Joy-Con and blue Joy-Con. I also folded the template so that I could trace where it folded, yeah. so it would look right. We spray painted the masks for the base coat. Then spray paint, spray paint. And then here we are doing the final painting. Sam is the speedy one. <laughs> Ty is still mixing her paint and Sam's basically done. Except for that Sam changed her mind about the cheeks a bunch of times so that there's like seven versions of the cheeks <laughs> coming in. <laughs> I couldn't get the right brown yeah. for the eye thing. Yep. Yeah, because her design has that reddish brown. And I tried patch. to do like white cheeks first and then paint the pink on. Then I noticed that we need to let it dry. <laughs> yeah. Well, you would paint white underneath there to make the pink pop more, right? Is that yeah, why you were doing that? Yeah, to make it like lighter. And I was yeah. listening to music while painting the veiny mask. And you were listening to Five Nights Spin music, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm painting two versions. I'm doing uh, the classic troll and the cutesy troll. Oh, there's the hand pieces from Ty's Space Unicorn costume from 2015. Smiles and hugs forever all around the world. And we used that for the hair on the troll girl. We still had those hanging out. painting inside the ears and doing the final touches on Vanny's face. Whoa. Some eyes and tracing the little eyebrows. She's so almost finished. So spooky. So spooky. Now I painted some silver paint on a sponge and I'm just kind of sponging on top of the greebles. They were base dark gray and then just sponged and then putting some dirt on. So it's just some brown I had laying around. Sticking that on there with some water, wiping it off of the top surfaces and then adding a little bit of orange for some rustiness here and there. So it could be an old spaceship or something. There's the classic troll face. He's a little creepy with his <laughs> wrinkles. The Ringo vacuum form was going to pick up most of the Look. details in the sculpt. So if you've got any weird lumps and bumps, they're, they're going to show up. And there's Sam <laughs> in the cute troll mask. My sculpt was a little lumpy, so the mask was a little lumpy, but eh. it's a canonically homemade mask. So, so yeah. Take lumpy this. and bumpy is totally yeah. fine. What did you make the um, the body out of? I made it out of a box. I covered it in aluminum foil. And then I made these little paper pieces to glue on. Yep, turned out so good. Yeah. Wow. There's me. Nope. That's too creepy. Yeah, Ty bringing the creepy. It is Halloween after all, so Ty's is the creepy one. We're gonna go back to the cute one. <laughs> yeah. Spooky, spooky time. It's spooky, spooky time. In the spooky, spooky month. It's spooky, spooky time. In the spooky, spooky month. Yay! <laughs> nice.